Alrighty, guys. Bottom left corner. Daybreak will be your map choice. Your red Zerg player symbol. Top right corner from Startail. Who do we have? Pew, 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 pew. Meteor Bomber. shower. Meteor shower. That's what it, that's what I thought of right when you did that. Meteors disintegrate so much from the atmosphere. They would never sound like that. Have you ever seen a meteor shower? Pretty cool. Um, kind of. It's just streaks of light. I the sky. see my whole life until this year. I'd never seen a shooting star. Really? Uh, yeah. I never Were you really in, like, like a really populated lighting area, or just never looked up. No, no, I just never went out for meteors. <laughs> I just never looked up. It's dark outside. That's scary. I'm not going out there. I looked up a lot when I played golf or when I took girls out to lay on a blanket and stare at the stars. But um, that's weird. That was adorable. Don't even try. So. Don't even try. I hate being on blankets because then like the grass. And our knees still tickles you no matter what. The blankets no, no, aren't no, no, enough no. of a barrier. No, oh, Tim. Blankets. I, I'll have to show you. I'm, I'm going to order. You're gonna get, we're going to get one of these blankets. I'm not going and, uh, out put to it, we'll put it in the, living the room. park with you and no, sitting no, no, on no, no, a blanket and staring <laughs> at the sky. Why not? I want to see a meteor shower, Robin. Just, you obviously know the secrets. I could do something a little bit more proactive with my time. I don't know. I, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're <laughs> missing. That's the thing. Well, that was curious to see what Bomber's going for. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Maybe I, I don't. It and works I, so well. I don't know if I want to find middle out. school when all they cared about was confidence. <laughs> see, I didn't have confidence. I had to have a girl ask me out for my eighth grade dance. Yeah, but you mentioned that. Yeah, man. And then you found out you were a bad dancer. Yep. I haven't seen you dance yet besides I'm pigeon toed I can't dance. Like, pigeon everything toed. about me Never heard is that used off. as an adjective, actually. Uh, command Center first, once again from Bomber, so seeming to go with the same opening. Loves to get a nice macro opening and then follow it up into really mid game aggression with no upgrades as mentioned in game number one. Mm -hmm. uh, symbol going 15 hatchery falling into a pool. Really safe opening. He can go for that third if he would like to if he scouts this command center and he actually hasn't set out a drone. Um, on this map, your overlord can get straight to your opponent's natural pretty nicely, pretty quickly. He can pop in right when a marine normally pops out when it goes for a rax first, but um, he's being a little advantageous because if a marine did pop out, this overlord could potentially be damaged quite a lot. He could well, be able to get it's away. 310. Uh, is when your marine pops out, and with only one, you could get into this corner definitely quick enough. Now he's being a little gutsy, but he's seen the barracks. Yeah. Now he can feel super comfortable. He knows a marine is still at least about, you're looking at, what, 30, 40 seconds away. 35. So, um, he can poke in now and see if this gas is completed. This is actually coming in. This is a little risky. He's going to need to cut off to the right, I think. He can also cut to the left, but he definitely needs to start making it off into our direction. And yeah. he's going to manage to glimpse... The gas peak mind, will he be gutsy enough to check the time? He will. Gets a click get on there. there. See 60 gas is mined. The Marine is about to be on the field. Oh my gosh, this is going to be close. Nah, I yeah, that's a safe. It's safe. Okay. Um, Overlord coming in from the left-hand side as well, but, well, he's not going to be able to see when that second gas is taken. Let's keep an eye on that Overlord just in case. I don't know. I feel. I would be so scared if no, I was no, playing. It's, it's seriously, it's safe. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, gonna be falling up into a third hatchery most likely he did do that in game number one on Ohana mm -hmm. game number two daybreak It's a tad bit easier to go that route uh, You get your four Queens and then of course you get that third because it's pretty far away uh, For the most part you won't be having too much pressure on it unless there's a bit of a weird strong all-in coming um, Your opponent will have to cut a lot of SCVs in order to go for that third So at that point you just sacrifice it and defend your natural uh, We do have the command center downloading onto the natural and from here We just have a macro opening from both players love it now, Symbol's poking in now to see if this is uh, starting to be mined off, also to see if any additional structures go down. He does spot the factory from the left-hand side, gets the exact timing of it. And we'll see if he tries to position to scout this second gas as that Overlord is still alive. And actually, the Marines have moved... Um, where are the Marines, actually? They're right there above the, in the natural. They're in the main, right ah. there. Going to move their way down into that bunker, likely, in a second, but not checking for the Overlord. So I'm surprised Symbol, you know... It's not a little closer up here trying to check for that gas, but hey, you know, at the same time, if he went up there, now there's four Marines on the map, and that Overlord would die if it got spotted, so. He has a lot of scouting available to him. And look at the very far top left corner. Uh, he sees, he has a Ling there, so he sees all pathing, he has Zanaga covered. I liked him to go this, ahead and grab yeah. that first Zanaga, but he has every path covered. I uh, never have map presence like this in six minutes. SCV is thinking about building a bunker, decides better of it. A little bit harder to pull that off. Uh, for that's the a, most part, we lazy SCVs the thing. That's, a, that's what it is. He has on short-term disability. Super fast siege tech here. Man, Symbol is just getting scouting done. 
Yeah, uh, for the most part, a lot of people put their overlords down in the bottom right corner of that natural so they can keep an eye on the gases there, but Symbols went ahead and went for the exchange of having two overlords in the main so they can keep poking in, but he never loses an overlord because they have so much vision. He can yeah. essentially watch the left and right side um, of the base, but that one does get killed off, but again, that's the first one at 7.15. That was yeah, really... And he, and he decided to sack it. He yeah. threw it all the way in so he could see the structures. He saw two barracks going down. If he sees these engineering bays, this is going to be a ton of info. I, I'm so like we're actually spending the first couple minutes of this game talking about what Symbol has seen, because he's seen everything almost immediately as it happens. God likes scouting. Literally, he's seeing everything, and that's so useful, so helpful. And God likes scouting. You yeah. know how pre like <laughs> it's, it's so really accurate. What it like, it's it's so what it is. It's it's perfect scouting. He's finding out everything here. Uh, he's even bringing the overlord down in that bottom right corner, the one that um, Andrew was just on. And he's going to be able to see this gas very soon as well uh, as the overlord is still moving its way up. Yep. Uh, but um, he hasn't moved his that overlord in. Yep. If he had the engineering be, if he would have saw that, I would have expected some kind of really strong all-in coming from Symbol because he is prone to do so. He's he's loves doing all-ins, actually. He was one of the pioneers, actually, with him in Revival. Uh, they did the Baneling. Roach Bane. Yep, yeah, I remember. It, it was every single game on... Um, Belshire Beach was the map. Uh, it was <laughs> just every time. Didn't matter if it was Protoss, Terran, whatever, yeah. Thor's aid like tries opening with three command center symbols like, eh, we're just gonna die actually. It would happen like three games in a row, in fact. I remember casting that set, I was just so sad. Uh symbol? Just Moving put that four zero on gas actually. That's that's what symbol did. Plus one one on the way, speed being finished yeah, up as well. Right away. Bailey nest, macro hatch. Mm -hmm. Should be seeing a lot of an influx in gases very soon. Uh, depending on what to go for. He does seem to enjoy that Muta play, and especially with the double evolution chamber, it kind of relates to that. You can go in Fester, but I really feel like Muta's a better place to offer Symbol. An incredibly late layer here. Uh, out of Symbol, just finishing up. He's going to take his gases in his main. Gases at his third have been mining for just under a minute now, and this is going to allow him to start 2 2. He's going to have a Spire on the way. Uh, he's got centrifugal hooks. Lots of things getting ready to ramp up for Symbol. And if we look at who has played Greedier, I mean, also Symbol's crew spread has been very, very good. He's almost up into this high ground area. Yeah, he's uh, had three top. queens dedicated it this whole entire time. Like, we have 11 minutes speed here from Symbol. I mean, pretty he greedy opening. so greedy. He's up to uh, 64 drones. So he's actually sacked some on the economy, but his tech's incredible. Really nice here. 2-2 already being queued up as well. Bomber going into his trademark, uh, creating everything in the middle of uh, the game here. Uh, plus 1-1 one, one has finished up right about now. And Combat Shield has started up as well. So getting those necessary upgrades. 2-2 two, two should be queued up pretty well, pretty fast here too, because he got uh, that army right away. There's plus 2. And from here we have simple poking, looking for an opening. There isn't really much of one. Uh, we have Siege Tanks up on this little ramp here. They defend the natural entrance, and they defend the third pretty well. Uh, so Symbol should be pulling back. I'd actually love to point this out. If you know, you're know you a Terran who struggles with harass and taking your third base, this is such a fantastic uh, thing to be doing. You position your bunker just inside the range of your Siege Tanks. Notice how uh, you even have your third Siege Tank here able to cover this bunker. And the bunker itself will protect your mineral line, but this allows your Siege Tanks to defend both your third and your natural expansion because if Symbol tries to come in here and, and A move, the Zerglings will run around the bunker and take heavy damage from the siege tanks. The Marines are also not in a position defending the third unit. They leave that up to the bunker. They're in a position where, if needed, they can respond to the natural expansion. I also like this little SimCity here at the natural uh, that he's created with this four supply depots in the bunker. There you go. It forces him to either A, engage fully on the top side, or in the bottom side. And either way, is me walking into a death trap. Yeah, it's just joke, a yeah. really good uh, uh, SimCity here by... Bomber and also he left an opening there for the Lings to try and get around the bunker as well. So again, just more opportunity um, damage he has available to him. Crease spread though for Symbol again, constantly moving. Man, look at the top left corner. Wow. He's uh, already over there. Actually, I mean this is such a good point because tanks on the high ground. And uh, let's hold this thought because there's Mutalis in the main base right now. They've killed off an SCB building a bunker, trying to focus down some tech laps. Will be thwarted for now. Bailings on the low ground and Zerglings maybe getting ready for an attack here on the third. What I want to say was this. Um, this forces into the choke in the bottom into these siege tanks that are covering the third. And if you try to go through the top, you're vulnerable to siege tanks on the high ground, which is just awesome. Yeah, if I came in and I saw that structure, I wouldn't go for anything. I just pull back and make sure I have his ling on the Zelnaga and then just smack her up behind it. There's nothing you can do there. Me just trying to shark around in the main and won't be doing too much. Here comes some bailings though and some lings into this third. And he does have an opportunity to these four to five mineral patches down here on the bottom right. He can harass. 
Uh, so he will do so. It's going to go ahead and kill off that gas as well. Always nice. But Bomber has decided to go. He has a ton of units moving across the middle of the map. And he's like, he walks in and he goes, oh, snap. There's a lot of purple here. I need to clear this up before yeah. I it out. I mean, this is a, yeah, it's a strong 2-2 timing out of Bomber. But Symbol also has 2-2. He's got a lot of mutas. Bomber needs to make sure he doesn't lose any Siege Tanks with this push. They're going to be so incredibly important because of the Banelings. That's two things to look for. Will Siege Tanks be sniped? And will um, the Siege Tanks target fire on the Banelings? Marines trying to do their best to poke off a couple of Banelings. Here come the Lings, though. The Sieges oh, are Oh, no unseized. target fire. They're going down as the Banelings move forward once again. Marines getting caught it there. Muta's following up, focusing down the Siege Tanks. And that was a clinic there on how to engage on a Terran that is not sieged up. Symbol crushing this army. He did indeed, and Symbol is now at a substantial advantage with 125 supply to 100. Symbol is continuing, of course, to spread this creep on the southern half of the map, and he's got uh, he still has live active creep tumors up north. And this is why you want to spread so many tumors because it makes it more difficult to kill them all off. If instead you're only spreading one or two, uh, not only does it become more difficult, but it's also slower. When you're spreading so many tumors like this, he's got six. The creeps. Look how quickly the creep spreads. It's really quick. So fast. Well, instantly, actually. I mean, what? That was <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous. Creating a ton of banelings here. The fourth uh, command center could be on the way for bomber at this point. A, a real direct attack is kind of not going to happen. You just, oh. oh my gosh! Get to the siege tank. Uh, an attack coming is really hard to pull off because he lost so many siege tanks last engagement. So uh, a fourth would be most likely what he wants to go for, but. Bomber, though, has been keeping up with an upgrade similar to game number one. He has 3-3 three, three already on the way. We'll be finishing up very soon. Uh, he is behind an economy, but uh, his upgrades could be quite nice for him. Checking into symbol, what does he have in upgrades? I think he has him start 2-2. Two, two, he's still at 2 No, he's, he's been done with 2-2, two, two, but okay. he has yet to start 3-3 uh, three, three, and has yet to start a hive or an infestation pit. I, I don't think he has one of them uh, either. If we look around, yeah, no infestation pit for symbol. So he's going to be relying on this tier 2 tech, but remember, he has a... Uh, trounced Bomber in that first engagement. So Bomber, Bomber has to be a lot more careful with how he engages uh, from this point forward. And he is being careful. He's been sieging up a lot. He sees with the links and uh, the, uh, he, once he saw the links and Banelings, he immediately just sieged up and now he's moving way more oh, slowly. No. There's nothing at this third. The bunker was not reconstructed. They this counterattack is going to be pretty devastating, but Bomber is going to try to take out this fourth base while that counterattack happens. SMPs will be going down. There's no way to really stop that. It's only a small amount of links, too. It doesn't really hurt Symbol not to have that in the army composition. Is Bomber going to move forward? And honestly, he really can't. He used scan there, but he wasn't able to kill everything off. There's too many creep tumors. Bailings patrolling. <laughs> patrolling back and forth <laughs> between that base. That, uh, it actually makes them spread out quite uh, nicely, but here they go. go. Moving in, Banelings going to try to capture clubs of Marines, and they do! So much damage being dealt to Bomber by these Marines, and Symbol, nice spread at the end, but it may be too little too late. These tanks are unseaged, and Bomber is down to a very low unit count at only 100 supply. Symbol dealing devastating amounts of damage. With the third being killed off, it's become very hard here for Bomber to use all his production facilities. He has a few production facilities not being used, and it's really unfortunate for him. And a kudos to Symbol for taking out that third base and having the mindset to go and go for a counterattack. Now this base is suddenly in trouble. There's nothing really there to defend. There's a few Marines rallying to his uh, main army, but Oh, but he put a Marine there. That's nice. That's actually a adorable. It slows it down a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually pretty clever. Uh, but it looks like these SVs are going to be taking some damage. Marines do get there to go ahead and defend it. They do have 3-3, three, three, so should be okay in terms of holding them off. But that is just way too many links. Or yeah, Marines. this is a lot of units out of symbol. It's 180 supply to 123. Army supply, he's got a 50 advantage in that regard. And oh now gosh. he killed off those, uh, you know, the. it was a cute maneuver. It really was um, positioning the Marine there, but it just wasn't enough. Now he's got to send reinforcements, but he's got some Marines now at the fourth base getting in some damage. This is so many oh units gosh. out of Symbol, and he caught Bomber right as he was unseaging. Perfect flank here from Symbol. More links coming from the top as well. It's crushing everything. Bomber is literally forced to GG as the uh, Zerg Swarm is just 